Hey what's up guys? On my previous videos about the the newer microphone kit or the VM700 now known as the NW700 microphone um, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to hook it up. Seems like uh, a lot of people are maybe just new getting into podcasting or or singing or things like that. Maybe even gaming channels and stuff. And uh, seems like people are just having a bit of confusion when it comes to hooking up the mic. So I figured I'd take you through and show you a few different ways to hook it up just to make it a little bit easier and to answer a few questions for you. So first things first, it seems like the biggest problem is that people don't understand the concept of a condenser microphone. So basically what it means is this is a powered microphone. So it requires a power source to run it, unlike a dynamic microphone which you can just plug into any unpowered jack and it'll work. So, this is the cord that comes with it. So it means that you cannot just plug this cable into your laptop, phone, or anything uh, anything like that, and it'll work. It won't. It requires uh, a mic preamp, or what's known as phantom power. Now what I've been using on my microphone, I switched to immediately after I got it, is an XLR to XLR cable. So we have two XLR ends. Um, the cable that came with the microphone is uh, XLR to 3.5 millimeter, which is not as preferred. It might be, might be better for home use, but most things like this equipment you see right here have quarter inch jacks or XLR. So you'll need adapters if you're running uh, if you're running the 3.5 mil cable. As I already said, you can't just plug this mic directly into the headphone jack or whatever on your computer. It needs to first run from the mic into a power source then from the power source into your computer. So as I said, I'm using XLR ended cable instead of the one that comes with it, but the idea is completely the same. So what I want to show you is a couple power sources or what it means to have phantom power. So here is my main piece of equipment. This is the Behringer Xenix 1002FX. So this is just basically a small mixer, but it has phantom power. So here are your two main mic ports that I use. So we'll plug in so we'll plug in our mic, channel 1, just like that. Now, the difference with this mixer is this little button right here. Which means it has a power supply. So I can turn it off or turn it on. And we're going to need it on. You see it's picking up the mic right now as I'm talking. Yep. So this power supply will let us uh, power that mic. Now from here, we can run a cable out of the mixer and straight into our laptop, like you want. So uh, this mixer, this particular mixer has a bunch of options. This is probably your best option. A left-right audio cable to 3.5, so this will go right into your laptop. So, just let me show you right quick. So we're just going to come over here, plug this in, right into the laptop. And then this end, left right audio, will go right into your mixer's, right into your mixer's port. I'll just show you right quick. See here we have an in and an out. So we're going to run it in the out because we want to output the sound to our computer. And that's all that is required. So now you're running through the mixer which supplies or powers your mic and then right into your laptops so you can use whatever software you want to use. Or into a phone with a recording system or whatever. The reason I prefer the mixer is because it gives me a ton of options. Uh, this particular mixer does have a built-in effects processor so I can uh, control some reverb on my mic, 
adjust the EQs and all that kind of stuff uh, directly instead of doing it in a software system. Another way you can run it to your um, computer if you do not have one of these left right audio cords is you can just get uh, a double ended auxiliary cable like this. Now same thing these are all 3.5 mils so what you'll need is a 3.5 mil to quarter inch adapter because all these jacks are uh, a quarter inch. So you just hook up these adapters which now makes it a quarter inch cable. Then you can go to either a mono out or um, actually you only need one in and this can go directly into your laptop. And that'll be uh, a connected system. So this right here is just a pretty generic audio interface. It has a couple inputs. This is a mic input and a little picture of a guitar input. But really it's just any XLR input and any quarter inch input. Now, same thing. This has a preamp. So if you look on the back here, this one is by Amadio. If you look here, phantom power, 48 volt. So here's your switch. Okay, so if you have a condenser mic hooked up, flip that switch, and now we have power. So, all you have to do is just plug in that mic, and we're good to go. That's all you need. This one hooks up, most audio interfaces actually, hook up via USB. So you see, I already have it run into my computer via USB. Very simple hookup. Hook in your mic and you have phantom power. And most interfaces like this will also come with um, some audio software. So right here I'm using Pro Tools which came with the interface. Very nice program to use. A little bit of a learning curve but not too bad. And uh, yeah, that's all you'll need. So yeah guys, that's about it. The important thing to remember is that this is a condenser microphone and it needs to go in a power source, whichever type you choose, before it goes into your laptop or computer system. So you have tons of options on the market. Look around for uh, maybe just search mic preamps and it'll, it'll come up or you can try searching audio interface. I'll put a few different links in the description to smaller, cheaper versions of this. This is a little bit um, pricier because it comes with software, so you're looking at probably a, a few hundred bucks. You can pick up a mixer like this for around 120 and smaller ones for the 40 to $50 range, maybe even a bit less. Um, I prefer the mixer, like I said, just because it gives me more options and I can plug in multiple instruments um, along with my mic and run into my computer system. But that's it, you need to connect from a mic to a power source, then the power source to the laptop. Hope this clears it up for you. Uh, see you in the next video.